Lots of new changes. That's a big one. I love my Apple CarPlay. See, I don't, I'm an Android girl, oh, so I don't Yeah, that's why Apple. I couldn't work your camera early. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I know, I'm one of the weirdos that uses my Droid, but the Google Pixel's camera, perfect. Okay. Almost as perfect as this camera behind us. Let's take a look outside right now. It is gorgeous. This is our camera in the Tucson mountains. You can see the jagged edges of those mountains. Temperatures seasonably cool here this morning. Let's take a look at those temperatures right now. We're sitting in the 40s across most of the area. Tucson and Sierra, Vo Sierra Vista both sitting at 47. Nogales a little bit cooler at 38. Marana a little bit warmer at 50 degrees. 39 in Casa Grande and 41 there in Bisbee. As we head throughout the day, we're going to be seasonably warm. Temperatures peaking in the upper 70s to low 80s. Sunny skies, winds light. Folks, it is going to be the perfect April day. But changes. Changes are coming. Temperatures not changing a whole lot tomorrow. We'll be peaking in the low 80s once again, but Monday into Tuesday, more than a 20 degree temperature drop. So I hope that you like roller coasters because we are still on this ride that just does not seem to want to quit. What's happening is an upper level trough is digging down. It's going to be cooling us down, also going to be bringing us strong winds. I've talked about this a little bit before, but when we see these lines all close together like this, that means that the pressure gradient is tight, which results in strong winds at the surface. And that's exactly what we are expecting tomorrow. We actually are under a fire weather watch. The fire weather watch is this light tan color, and then this dark brown color is a wind advisory. So almost the whole state going to be seeing strong winds, but for us down here, it's going to be dry with those winds, which is why that fire danger is high. So wind sustained 20 to 35 miles per hour, gusts of 55 miles per hour, and relative humidity less than a 11%. So use extreme caution. Let's time out these winds. Tomorrow at lunchtime, we start to see them pick up gusts of around 30 to 35 miles per hour. At 3 p.m., 40 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts, and then through those late afternoon, early evening hours is when we could be seeing those strongest gusts of around 40 to 50 miles per hour with that isolated 55 mile per hour gust. We'll still see a bit of a breeze as we head into those overnight hours. Now, 90% of wildfires are caused by humans. So these are the precautions that you can take. Don't throw your cigarette butts out the window. You should never do that. That's yucky, but especially when fire danger is high, secure trailers for loose chains. Stay off dry br brush with your car because the underbelly of your car is very hard hot and that could spark a fire and no shooting ranges. Always be aware because over the next couple of months we're going to be seeing things really dry out and fire danger is going to be going up. Now this upper level trough going to be moving out and by the end of the week a ridge builds in and those temperatures warm up. So here's a look at your seven day forecast 80 today. Beautiful wind strong fire danger tomorrow cold Tuesday into Tuesday night before that steady warm up.